Welcome to Club 93. Today I'm bringing you a five star running back. His name is Dwight Phillips Jr. He's another commitment to the dogs. Stay put and we'll talk about him after the intro. Philip Daniels, the freshman. Do it today. Here you go, chest Come up. Come on, do it today. Speed. Come on now, Phil. Here we go, oh. man. Speed power. Oh. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh. 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 Welcome back. Today, guys, we're going to be talking about Dwight Phillips Jr., another running back headed to the Georgia Bulldogs. Dwight's 5'11", 170 pounds. He's from Pebble Brook High School in Mableton, Georgia, and he's committed to play football for the Georgia Bulldogs. He has good vision, excellent speed, good patience finding the holes, uh, good in space, uh, he plays running back and can line up at wide receiver. Uh, he got great hands. Uh, and he also runs track. He ran a sub 1100 meter as a sophomore. And he won the Georgia 7A 100 meter state title with a 10.43. He also had times of 10.44, 10.46, and 10.49 in the 100 meter. He has played defense. And he also is a kick returner. Uh, let's talk about his stats. In 2021, this is I think this was eight games. I think he only played eight games. He ran for 774 yards and seven TDs. He had 12.5 yards per carry average. He also had nine receptions for 245 yards and a TD. His father is Gabe Phillips, 2004 Olympic gold medalist in the long jump and a four-time world championship gold medalist. So he got it in his genes. Now when you watch this video, you watch him run, he's fast. And he's 170, and I know that when he get with the dogs, they're gonna put weight on him, and he's gonna be even faster, even faster. So let's get into the video, and I'll critique things as we go. All right, here we go. Kick return. It always it's always good to have a running back that can return kicks, you know what I'm saying? So when you get the universe of joy, they can use them in a bunch of different different spots. Right here, good speed, good burst through the hole. I mean, once you get in open field, it's, it's over with. You're not catching it. He's a speedster, guys. He can run. He only gonna add size and get better in the next few years. You can forget about catching him once he get in open field. That track speed kicks in. Here you go on the jet sweep, jet toss, what we call this, jet pass. <laughs> Take it to the house. First time you touched the ball in high school, 94 yard, kick return. It's crazy because my son did the same very thing in high school. 
the same exact thing in high school. My oldest son took a kickoff 90 some yards to the house. Good start to your career, especially in high school. Tough runner. Yards after contact, that yak yards, he can get it. He only gonna get bigger, he's gonna be able to do that better. Here we go right here, give him a crack, he gone. Good job, good job. No jet sweep. Get on the edge, give him some space. Forget about it. Another kick return. Man, he outran them on the edge. Good cutback. Good vision. You got to have that in your running back. Good job. You may be able to go in and play special teams right away at Georgia. Another jet sweep. Get on the edge. Man, that speed kick in, don't it? You know the state of Georgia, they breed talent down there. It's my state. <laughs> Nothing but talent down there. We breed football players. Look at that. You give him a little space, he's going to take it to the house. We go again. Jet sweep. Good job, good job. He do a good job of knowing when the end of the road. A lot of running backs in high school don't know when the end of the road. They'll take them extra hits for no reason. He do a good job knowing that he don't have extra yards and he get out of bounds. That's a good job, young man. Man, look at that speed. They had angles on him and still couldn't get it. They had big angles on him, still couldn't catch it. Good cut back. Get off the field. Right here. Just take that on out of bounds. Don't take them extra hits. Walk off touchdown. In overtime. When you get him out on the edge, it's over with. Georgia gonna have a lot of speed in that backfield. I mean, I just showed, I just did a video with Dave Frazier. These two guys both run track and they got blazing speed. They're gonna be good additions, complements of each other in that backfield. I feel like Dwight is more of a receiver. He can catch the ball, can do some things catching the ball and play different positions, you know? So they're gonna complement each other well for how they're gonna play. So they can both be good in the offense because they do different things. Go another jet sweep. Go get it. There you go. Man, get him on the edge, give him some space. It's history. Hmm. He gonna score.
Oh, you almost caught him. Probably late in the game, tired. You're not gonna catch him fresh, I'll tell you that. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Just get out of bounds. End of the road. You already know you're going to get hit. Why get hit for no reason? Just know the end of the road. Save your body. Get out of bounds. Good job. Good cut. Good at running behind his pass. I can't wait for his frame to fill out so he can really do some things be real physical and there you have it that was Dwight Phillips Jr uh, he headed to the University of Georgia uh, him and, and Nate Frazier and they're gonna do a good job in that backfield they got a bunch of speed coming into Georgia and one thing I know about the dogs dogs are running back you and they're gonna utilize their backs and they're gonna be able to do a bunch of different things for them so you know, it don't matter how many they got, they're going to utilize them in some form or fashion. Georgia put a bunch of backs in the NFL. So these guys are going to be good complements to each other and because they do different things. You know, of course, Dwight, he got good hands. He can line up at wide receiver. He's lined up there in high school and he can kick return. You know, he can return kicks. So that's going to help him and benefit him in the long run. But the one thing that he's going to have to do is get bigger. He's 170. You got to put on some weight, and they're going to do that at the University of Georgia. He wants to get on that strength program and get it, get to that meal table. He runs track, so one he's one of them guys that if you get him out in space and he get to the edge, you're not going to catch him. He's going to, he's going to beat you to the edge, and he's going to be explosive through those holes, and he's going to score if you get in some open field. Uh, I like everything I, I, I saw in the video. I think that, you know, Georgia's adding speed in the backfield. They're going at the guys with track, our track background, and I think that's going to benefit them in the long run. Uh, of course, he only played eight games uh, in 2021, had 774 yards and seven TDs, 12.5 yard average, and uh, of course he had nine receptions of 245 yards in the TD. So that that goes to show you that he can he can move around a little bit and do some things. So and I like the fact that he got an Olympic father who done some good things and can can tell him exactly know what to do to get faster and, and, and get bigger and get stronger. He probably could be like 185 by the time he get to Georgia. And that would be good, you know what I'm saying? Because they'll put the rest on once they get there. Uh, so my thing is, man, um, Georgia is going to be solid in that, in that backfield. Um, with um, Dwight Phillips and the addition of Nate Frazier, those two guys coming up with all that speed, they're going to be able to do so many things with these guys, you know what I'm saying? Maybe spread one out at wide, wide receiver, spread Dwight out at wide receiver, and put um, you know Nate in the backfield, or have both of those guys in the backfield to do different things. You know what I'm saying? We already see that Nate can block. You know He's a good blocker and everything, and I know that Dwight's going to get all that stuff when he gets to Georgia too. So I just think that uh, he, this is a good addition for Georgia. It's a good pickup for them. And I think that, you know, as long as um, uh, Dwight, you know, get in that weight room, live in that weight room, get bigger, get stronger, especially for your senior year and that offseason before you get to Georgia, um, you're going to be awesome when you get there. I just know that, you know what I'm saying? You got all that speed and you're only going to get faster. Georgia going to get you faster. I mean, and plus, you want to running back you. That's all they do is make running backs. They make running backs and they put them in the NFL. That's exactly what Georgia do. So, Dwight, I want to wish you luck for your senior year. Go out there and do your thing. Put up a bunch of yards. I know you only played eight games. I, only got, I don't know if these stats are from eight games. I think they're from eight games. But if they are, they're some excellent stats. So go out there and do your thing. Play hard, man. Keep burning them on the edge. Get out in that space and keep killing them. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing your senior year. And I'm also looking forward to seeing you at the University of Georgia. With that being said, Club 9-3 is officially closed.